everything is the same as you saw it yesterday, just looking at it from a different, different angle. In fact, yesterday's episode is still uploading on YouTube right now. I think it's only fair to forewarn you that unless you enjoy watching this sort of thing, the next nine minutes are just more of the same, more of yesterday's problems. Uh, yeah, my feelings will not be hurt if you skip ahead to the nine minute mark. Unless, like I say, you like watching this sort of thing. I'm thinking now that maybe what I should have done is made this portion right here narrower so that it sits on the inside of this ledge. And, uh, and, then, and then these posts that you see right now. So let me set this down. Well, it's too bad I just couldn't mount it on the ship, but it should be easy. And then the post would go on the inside right here. And the whole thing would be just... You can see there's a little bit of a ledge there all the way around. Just have the bottom rail on the inside. Um, it, would, it would actually be too, too narrow then, wouldn't it? Whoops. Here we go again. I'm going to try not to do a lot of this sort of thing today. Well, maybe I should say it for tomorrow's episode. Um, I'm still thinking about it. Now I have here a pair of tweezers and they are almost exactly the right width. And uh, they're probably a millimeter narrower than the photo X pliers that I was using. And I'm going to just see if I can't rebend that piece. Okay, we are rebent to the new shape. Now let's first see if we can get it in this way and then pull it out. Nope. Get my other tweezers here. Okay, here we go again. Oh, we're going to bend this thing all out of shape here before I get it in there. Why can't I get this one? I know what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to have to straighten it out here. You know, it, it almost looks as though it's not narrow enough, although See, it just doesn't quite look right. I could push this one post in behind that wall If you've never done this sort of thing, you have no idea what it's like. I, I don't know how to describe it. It would be like trying to train a little spider to do something. Oh. Okay, about half an hour has passed here.
Okay, here's the plan. This back post that's hard for you to see is leaning up against the uh, wall and I'm just going to see if I can't The idea is that if I could get the extra thin to just Oops, okay. Now my hope is that the paint will dissolve. Now when this dries, and after it dries I could see if I could just straighten it just a little bit here. I can tell by the way it's responding it's starting to stick. And then this this bottom ledge here, if I could do the same thing with that, and then I can reinforce it with the with the CA glue. Now I'm going to trust that the extra thin has adhered that post enough. Does it look like anything came off? Okay, it did now. seem to be straight. I don't remember it being that crooked. Okay, let's let that cure that way. Now, when we're looking at it at an almost normal magnification, in fact, you're probably looking at it better than you normally would, it doesn't look half bad. I could pull this one post out just a little bit here. Even though it's not against this wall, there is a little space there. You can notice that the that the shaft of the of the pin will go through. But um, at at uh, normal viewing dis distance, it doesn't look half bad. It's only when you're looking really, really close that you can see it's sort of a. Okay, I don't need to worry about accidentally pulling it off now. I was thinking maybe if I was to straighten up some of these rails here. This one's a little bit more like that. And this one here, how does that look? Yeah, that, that looks pretty good now. Okay, I'm going to do the other one. I'm not going to video it. It was just too frustrating. And then, uh, then we'll move on to this round piece here. Okay, the other one is on. It took me about 10 minutes altogether. I think I probably learned from the mistakes I made on the other side, so yeah, it's on. Now, let's move over here. Okay, it is Monday morning. And as you can see, it's garbage day. Well, Monday's garbage day in our area. Has been for years. Anyway, I've got the ship turned around again. And we're looking at it from the uh, uh, port side. The bow is to your left. And the reason I'm doing that is because this opening that you see right here, where the uh, embossed ladder going up, you know, that's where a person would go through to, to, get, to get up there. <clears throat> I had thought that possibly that the inside of that would have had sort of like a spiral ladder, you know, the inside of this, this round part. It would probably be actually quite large. I could measure it and figure out what it is just for the fun of it. Um, however, uh, yeah, 
I want to be able to, you know, have the railing wrap all the way around the outside of this part right here and have one post here and one post here. Now, Murphy's Law says it's not going to work out like that. Anyway, let's calculate and just see how much railing we need. Now, once again, we're going to do it in inches. I know Canada is metric, but I think I've mentioned this before. I'm an old Canadian, and I still think in inches. Okay. Got to be careful I don't break something off here. And I'm just trying to get the the uh, diameter. Okay, it looks to me like the diameter is 0.715. So now we should be able to figure out what the uh, circumference is for the railing. Now this is not rocket science here. It's just grade 5 math probably. Can't remember when I first learned how to do this, but it was something around around grade five, I think. Anyway, so where, where's my point here? Point seven one five times twenty two divided by seven equals. Okay, I think you can probably read that. So it it looks like it's two point two four seven inches. I'll write this down, 2.247, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, so now we'll just see where the posts come. We'll set this thing to 2.274, or 247. We have just nipped off the last piece of railing off of this uh, sprue, or I guess photo edge sheet, and... Uh, this this one here represents 25% of our of our total amount of railing and so it's hard to believe we've actually already used up six pieces this bit this long I gotta be careful I don't uh, bend this here um, okay now I've set my caliper to 2.247 and kinda locked it in place so I haven't tried it yet so I'm gonna reposition everything and uh, we'll just see where do the posts come? Are we going to be lucky, or is Murphy's Law going to kick in? Okay, <clears throat> I think we're going to maybe be lucky here, because if we go from this post to this post, that's going to give a little gap. Uh, it would, it would be nicer if this post had been just a little bit more this way, because I don't want the gap really large, but there has to be a gap where you come up off the ladder so that you can, uh, you know, get onto the platform. So we'll just cut it right here. Okay, right now I've got it so that the posts are on the other side of the rails. So that means it's going to curve this way. And um, I was just thinking, what if we uh, made it so that the gap was almost just right and then set the railing on top of the platform instead of trying to get it to go around the outside? So we can always adjust later. Let's just see what's going to happen here now. Try and keep an even pressure so that the everything's going to be the same. I might have to use a, a smaller dowel here. Maybe if I was to move my dowel like this, this might work better. So. Oh, I guess you can hear I've turned my clock back on. And those of you who are familiar with how these chimes work, you now know that it is 45 minutes after something. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, 
use a smaller, a smaller dowel here. Now this one is considerably smaller and I'll just have to watch that I don't press too hard. So we will start over here by this post and oh yeah, whoops, I think I'm pressing too hard. Well, I'm going to have to continue on now and then just open it out. Now this isn't working too good, is it? Let's try not to scratch this any worse than it already is. Okay. Now I do believe that I can manipulate this so that it's going to be perfectly round, but not on camera. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's uh, pretty close. Let's uh, try it on the uh, platform and see how it compares. Now you're probably sick of hearing this, but you're seeing it along with me for the first time. Try and get it around that optical thing here. By the way, Tony, I'm getting a lot of use out of your tweezers. let me get my angle just a little bit right and I'll get my specialty tool and maybe I can pull that into shape. Okay, about an hour has passed here now and I've edited out the last few scenes and I imagine that some of you saw what I saw and that is that I originally had this little piece upside down. Yeah, if you remember the uh, this is uh going to be another one of those episodes. Okay, I originally had the uh, uh, little bumps that are supposed to be on the top. You can see on the top there, they were on the bottom rail. And that's uh, not the way we're doing it. Let's see if I could just, if I could just glue this one post right here. Okay, like that. Then we'll let it set and then move the other one and glue it right there and then uh, uh, work our way around and get everything else right. Okay, let's try not to bump anything here. And I think it was in yesterday's video comments, one of the viewers said I used three times as much glue as I actually need to. Like this little needle uh, applies too much. And, and I know it does, but I had to correct him on that because I really only put twice as much glue on as I need to. The macro lens makes it look worse than it really is. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, about five minutes or so has passed here. I do believe we've got it. Now, will it stay on if I pull this out to match it? Something like this. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, hook my specialty tool in here. That will both pull it back and maybe I can hold it down at the same time, but i got to get myself propped up for that, so I'll be right back. Okay, I realize that that uh, pen is sort of in your way, and I suppose I should really reposition it so you can see it better, but I've got everything precariously, see, get a different grip on this here. Okay, now you know it's 12 noon in Winnipeg, and it really is too, I'm not dubbing in this sound, it's, okay, I think we got it. Ah, yeah, I think this is going to work good. You know, as bad as the other two pieces went, 
this piece is going good. Several minutes has passed here now and I've removed my pin and I'm noticing that I was probably a little careless about doing it and I've bent this one rail down just a little bit here. I think it's pretty much back. I suppose I could have waited until the whole thing was glued down. Okay, I'm going to turn the ship around because it's the other side that we're going to want to adjust. You are now looking at it 180 degrees around. And that opening that we were looking at, you can't see it because it's being blocked by the rangefinder, but it is right here. Okay, I am very pleased to say that it looks like we're going to have to do very little adjusting here. I think if we just pull this in something like that and hold it down. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm going to have to turn that clock off again. I'm, I'm not timing it to do this. It just seems that every time I push record, the stupid clock goes off. Remember we had that a few months ago? I turned them all off. There used to be four of them all going at the same time, or one after the other. And I had to plan my uh, my uh, shoots in, in between the, the noise, and so I've got to turn that off. Maybe people like it, but I find it kind of bother bothersome. So anyway, like I say, once again, I'm just going to hook in pull it down and we'll just put a little bit of CA right there and then that'll be good enough. We don't need to, you know, glue it down like uh, it's a battleship or something. I have the specialty tool set up the same way as I did before and my pin is kind of in the way here but I think I can get underneath it and we just need a just a little bit here. Okay, when that cures, that's not going to fall off. Now, this opening right here, and there's one on the other side, a mirror image to it, it is too narrow to take one section of railing. Um, I'm wondering if I was, was to take one section of railing and sort of bent it, sort of almost like U-shaped or... Um, and sort of wedged it, wedged the piece in there. I, I do believe there should be railing there, it just doesn't look right. And I do believe we should be safe to take this off. Okay, can I go very carefully without scratching? Oh. I think that's about it. Now this is a long shot and I can honestly say I have not tried this yet, but I have another pair of tweezers here that might be the right width. If I could, uh, maybe if I put them together like this. Okay, my thinking is that if I was to bend the railing around those, I know it would be the, a little bit too, a little bit too small, but, but not, not very much too small. Let's, let's just try it. Okay, I think I can wedge that in there. I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I realize how utterly frustrating the uh, scenes were when I was trying to do those other pieces here, right here. Okay, I've changed my mind.
Okay, I've got it in there. It's just a friction fit. I don't think I'm going to use any glue. I just try and get the rails so that they're all sort of horizontal. Um, I think it's better than nothing. I've turned the ship around and I've got this one on. Same way as I did the other one, only it went a lot easier because once again I learned from my mistakes. And uh, as I said before, it's better than nothing. We have another one of these round observation units that we have to make a round railing for. The same as we did right here. Um, but before we get over there, uh, if we stay in this section right here, we got to put a railing along here. It might be a little easier than these round ones that we've been doing, because everything will be straight and right angles. Uh, looks like we're going to have to do, uh, I would say, two sections. And I do believe that those two sections are going to have to wait until tomorrow's episode. It's later than I thought. A lot later than I thought. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.